Welcome, welcome to Face Palm Sunday, the segment on the internet where we respond to health things on the internet. And boy, I thought this was going to blow over last night, but no, of course not, internet. Thanks, internet. Thank you, liberal fuck faces who have to make this bigger than it is just because someone doesn't agree with your political stance. For those of you who don't know, John Tron's a Nazi. Didn't see that one coming because he joined a podcast or a stream with Sargon of Akkad. Right? Yeah, right. He's a Nazi. Uh, now we have fucking delete Uber. Hashtag delete Uber that's been trending last night with 5,000 trending tweets, and now it's at almost 50,000 trending tweets, and everybody's writing Uber and de- un- uh, uninstalling the app because, well, Uber decided to uh, continue their taxi service. For those of you who don't know what Uber is, it's a basically self-employed taxi service. You, you, del- you do taxi for the company Uber in your own car and shit. Right. And taxis. Uh, and so what the, the reason this is even trending is because the airport, I think it's a, a New York airport uh, with uh, Trump's sick signing of a travel ban of certain Muslim countries. This travel ban has made a lot of people angry and therefore this travel ban uh, sparked a one hour protest at the airport uh, for an hour. So normal taxi people, you know, the yellow cab, those taxi people. Uh, did a one-hour protest where they would not drive anybody or help anybody get out of the airport. So there was no way for people to get anywhere unless they're being picked up by family, right? So there's no taxi services available. But Uber continued with their taxi service because, you know, that's why the delete hashtag, delete Uber, is even trending right now is because Uber didn't stop their taxi service and didn't say, hey, all you Uber drivers, we're going to suspend you for one hour, no picking up, no doing your job. Oh, I'm sorry that people want to get paid to do a job. I don't like personally like Uber that much. I personally use Lyft more than I use Uber. But nonetheless, the point still stands. People are getting paid. If people want to work, they're allowed to work. Uber should not have to be bullied into protesting something that they may not politically b- believe in. Whether Uber, I don't, Uber hasn't even made a definite statement, but the problem here is that you have people, these liberal shitbags, who are saying that the people, uh, the CEO and everybody at Uber, anybody who works at Uber, anybody who's an Uber driver, therefore is condoning, supporting Trump, and is a Trump supporter slash sympathizer because they don't delete the fucking app because they chose to work instead of, an hour protest. I don't see a problem with this. I don't see a problem with people wanting to do their job and pick people up and do a service that people need at the airport. I don't see an issue with that. And it, 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 it is sparking a nationwide controversy right now as I scroll through Twitter currently right now. All of these goddamn fucking tweets. And if you're one of these idiots who's going to delete an application because their political stance doesn't adhere, doesn't fall in line with what you think, fuck off, you're a, ah, I I can't stand liberal people like you. This type of bandwagon to the point of where I, well, I, this type of bandwagon where I see it trend on Twitter and therefore everyone has to do it because it's the trend. You're so retarded that you can't think for yourself and make your own political decisions because something doesn't fall in line perfectly with what you believe. And that's that's a real shame. It's a shame that we've reached that point. It's a shame that even after President Donald Trump is officially president now, that people are still moaning, still complaining, and still whining. And no, I'm not a Trump supporter. Don't even fucking go there, you crock of shit. The point of this video is to make a statement. A statement that if you delete an app because it does not stand politically where you believe, you don't have to use an app that doesn't share your values. But if you completely delete the app and say, I'm not going to use it because they don't think the same way that I do. You're no different than removing a family member off your Facebook because they think differently than you. And I find issue with that. I find issue with the lack of intolerance, that, that the lack of intolerance, the lack of tolerance people have towards people with different opinions. It blows my mind. Why can't people be friends if you have different religious views? Why can't people be friends if you have different political views? Why is there always us versus them type of mentality if someone thinks differently? It's like we've reached this point where thinking differently is looked down upon. That you have to think in a gigantic group the same way that that group thinks. That's really your way of life. If that's your perspective of only thinking the way that the popular way of thinking is, then you're fucking retarded. You're stupid. You're so easily influenced by the trend, the popularity, that you can't think for yourself. And that's sad.
This is disheartening for me. So literally in the past two, three days, we've had John Tron's a Nazi, right? And now we have hashtag delete Uber because it doesn't fall in line with what I think. Someone chose to work when they should have been protesting. And you know, last night, trending on Twitter again, was hashtag SeaTac, which is my actually airport. I live very close to SeaTac, very close to the Washington airport. And there were protests over the Trump, what Trump signed for the travel ban. And I don't agree with travel bans, by the way, so I want to make that very clear. Um, but there were people blocking escalators so people couldn't get to their flights. Uh, there was people blocking the roads so they couldn't get picked up by their family at the SeaTac airport. Uh, it was so riddled with fucking... That, that's not protesting. If your protesting has to disrupt emergency vehicles going down the street, has to disrupt other people getting to work, has to disrupt people missing their flights, which for the most part are non-refundable. You pay four or $500 for a flight, and then you can't get a refund from it because some fucking protester decides to block the escalator to where you can't get to your checkpoint. They closed down the airport last night, something that's never been done or rarely ever happens. They closed because of protesting was so bad, and pe there were so many people... Uh, blocking people's flights. They couldn't even do TSA checkpoint lines to get through to your flight, so they canceled everything. And I hope that those people got their money refunded. If they didn't, the protesters deserve to fucking kill themselves. And I mean that. I think Chris Ray Gunn tweeted something like, all you people complaining about delete Uber should get a lift and drive off a bridge. You should. Get a lift and drive off a bridge. It would, do, it would suit you well. The level of brain degeneracy is absurd. That we're dealing with here you go above and beyond to hurt and take away from actual other lives of people because you want to make a point and protest and sorry but your protest does nothing you're 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 entitled to do that to all you people those seattleites last night who got pepper sprayed and arrested for blocking airport shit i'm glad that you did i will not sympathize or justify protesters who go out of their way to disrupt steal destroy block, and make the lives of other people miserable because you don't know how to do a peaceful protest that involves peace. <laughs> That's the problem. That's my rant for today.